All right. This is going to be a video of this 52 inch Kendall Lighting brand Esprit ceiling fan that came in at my local Habitat Restore. And I actually got it from the Restore as I am a volunteer there. Pretty much what I do for them is ensure the ceiling fans that they receive via donation are more presentable than how they previously came in. Before I actually get to demonstrating the fan here, I thought I might as well point out that it is remote controlled. As you can see. And this is how I'm going to be operating it. So, I'm going to start out with the light kit. And as you can see, this is functioning. I'm using the included 75 watt halogen bulb that was in the light kit when I received the fan. And the remote does have a dimmer function, which I'll show you guys. I'll turn that off. And for the fan itself, I'm going to begin with the high speed. Looking at the black piece of tape I attach to one of the blade brackets for RPM indication I'd say that high is probably going to spin at roughly 245, possibly 250 RPM. It is a rather powerful fan, uh, both in terms of speed and airflow, as even from back here, I can still feel somewhat of a breeze. Next, for medium speed, medium is going to spin down to about 190 RPM, maybe 185. As you might notice, the blades are quite misaligned. The brackets themselves are actually straight, however the blades have sagged due to moisture. I will be discussing that later on in the video, however. And lastly, the low speed, which I'll show with the fan and light on simultaneously. Low is going to move close to around 70 RPM, maybe 65. It's actually a fairly decent low speed for a modern lighting showroom fan. Not too fast and also not too slow. Anyways, I'll turn the fan off now.
and I'm going to be talking about some general information on it. There is actually a pair of these candle lighting esprits that came in at the ReStore. Uh, you happen to be looking at the white model, as there was also a brush nickel one from the same owners. Unfortunately, the brush nickel one was beyond salvageable, as the blades were so bent that it caused the fan to wobble uncontrollably, and it was also rusted due to the fans being exposed to rain at some point. Though they were not installed outside, uh, whoever dropped them off at the ReStore just left them uh, sitting on the curb there. So uh, they collected a whole bunch of rainwater. In fact, when I turned this one over, uh, a whole bunch actually spilled out onto the floor. Luckily enough, uh, neither fan actually was affected electrically and both worked flawlessly in that area. It's just that the brush nickel model was beyond salvageable due to the blades and aesthetic appearance. These fans were originally listed on Kijiji locally for $50 a piece. However, after a short time, the previous owners gave up and gave both to the ReStore. And you might have noticed that the remote control I'm using is not a Kendall Lighting. In fact, it's a Hampton Bay. This is due to both fans not including their original remote controls, so I just used a spare Hampton Bay one I had instead, which works fairly well. And to conclude the video here, I'm going to be discussing the fan's pros and cons, and what I would rank it out of 5 stars, beginning with the pros. Overall, uh, the Esprit is a fairly clean looking model, uh, definitely a little bit on the minimalist side of things, however it could fit well into a modern decor. It has fairly unique blades and brackets, which are uh, non-typical of most candle lighting fans as their other comparable model, the Aviator, simply uses the um, blade in motor housing design. There's actually no blade brackets like this one. Also, it uses a 153 by 22 motor, which is above average. Personally, I would have liked to have seen maybe a 172 by 22 instead. However, uh, the housing would simply not permit that as um, being a compact fan, or at least, you know, that's the look Kendall was going for, there would not be enough space for a larger motor. As for the cons, I don't feel that the fan is nearly versatile enough, as the blades are just white on both sides, so it's pretty plain. Also, it's down rod mount only, which is not the best for lower ceilings. And I find the 75 watt halogen bulb um, quite dim. It's really uh, only about half as bright as what it appears on camera, and not nearly enough to light up a large room. So I personally would have liked to have seen Kendall include a 100 instead. Other than those minor little hiccups, if you will, it is a decent fan for today's standards, so I'd probably have to give it 3.5 out of 5 stars. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, I do hope you enjoyed and there's lots more to come.